Now, open plan offices, windows that you can't open, and automatic climate control. They're all part and parcel of the high-tech 90s workplace. But in fact, Tomorrow's World heralded just such an office 25 years ago, with a building that was also a roundabout. I went along to find out what became of that pioneering office block. Confronted by the rising cost of land, the Greater London Council decided to build its new office extensions on its own roundabout just across the river from Westminster. The idea of the island block was to accommodate a lot of people in a pleasant working environment. The heart of the project lay with its state-of-the-art automated systems. Heat and light will be insulated too. First, by tinting the glass with a filtering pigment. Second, by installing automatic blinds which descend when the sun is out. Even if the sun came out for five seconds, the blinds came down for 45 minutes. Uh, and as they wore away and were less maintained, they would come down and go up and come down and go up and then after a period of time uh, they would be permanently stuck down so you couldn't see out of the windows. From inside this vast reservoir the air is sucked into these aluminium pipes and is distributed to all parts of the building. It's cooled and filtered and re-enters the office as fresh air through grills like these on the window sills. You were very prone to get all the wind blowing off the river onto the frontage so it was actually quite cold in there and if we sort of gringed and whinged about the cold and they banked the heating up to make us feel a bit happier people in the north office used to boil. It was said that you couldn't have a kettle uh, in the office because it would have disturbed the air conditioning system. It did mean sometimes that people became very territorial, that you'd come in in the morning and find that your screen had been pushed back two or three feet and your desk might not have been in the same place as the night before. And so when those people left, you would go back and push your screen two feet. So there was a constantly moving screen uh, around each section. So what was it that killed off the island block? Was it the dodgy air conditioning? The sun blinds that preferred to come out in the rain? Well, no, actually, it had nothing to do with technical problems. This building would still be open today if it wasn't for the fact that in 1986, the Greater London Council was abolished. And when it went, the island block went too. I did actually return two weeks afterwards uh, and found you know, lots of papers all over the floor, cabinets tipped up, and it was a very sad sight, actually. For all its faults, it's where you worked and it's where your colleagues were. It's very sad to see it.